my son uh, was a drug addict, and he uh, he was one of these people like he, extremely intelligent. Had a, ma a mathematics PhD. He'd uh, co-authored a paper on economics with Lord Desai. He'd written open source software with Linux and got prizes. He was intelligent, but like a lot of intelligent people, he suffered from depression. And his way of dealing with this, the only effective way he found, despite endless doctors, was drugs. And he was getting to the age where he knew that he, if he didn't get off, he made several attempts to get off, if he didn't get off his drugs, probably this would end badly. He was struggling with it. He had overcome his problem. And the News of the World story had the most devastating effect on him. He, he really couldn't bear it. I mean, it was just so awful. And one can imagine that. I mean, it's bad for me, but for my sons, to see pictures of your father in that sort of situation, all over the newspapers, all over the web, all your friends seeing it, also for my wife. And he really couldn't bear it. He went back on the drugs, and he didn't. It, it would be wrong to say he committed suicide. He didn't. I mean, uh, that was fairly clear, clear from all the circumstances. But like many people on hard drugs, it's extremely dangerous, and you make a small mistake and you die, and that's what happened. Yeah. And that was in May of 2009? It was. And you, you deal with um, some of the other effects of that in paragraph 58, that you went to your, your late son's house to sort out his personal effects. There was one journalist on the doorstep, and then... Frankly, a whole mob arrived within a short space of time. This is correct. I mean, what was to me, uh, I don't want to sort of overdo it, but what to me was so horrifying was there was no sense of this matters, or these are human beings, these people actually mind. That is a terrible situation for somebody to be in. It's, ah, oh, maybe we can write a story, so let's be there. And they had these photographers there, and I uh, called my solicitor, he arrived on the scene and gave them all a letter and they left because I think they knew very well. They all called their, um, their, obviously they're all on the mobile phones, I suspect their headquarters. And I think they were probably told that we have a rerun of, um, I think it's called Hanover versus Germany in the court. We'd have had a rerun of that. I would have sued them because I thought it was absolutely outrageous to come and try and take pictures of somebody in that sort of situation. I mean, you're in a desperate situation. They have no human feeling at all.